My first experience with peer mentor was I was in the playground and a lot of problems were occurring at that time where I was accused of being racist. And a peer mentor saw someone throw food at me and she saw people circling me and pushing me about. They came and they broke the circle and they took me away and had a mediation with me. It was great to have someone around my age group who understood me and tell me that everything's going to be all right and it will all be sorted. There's this one girl that I was with her and she um, fell out with one of her friends that travelled on the bus with her and they kept some bullying her and stuff. She, she knew what to do and she's telling me that she hit her and they had a big argument and now she wants to do because she wants to be her friend. I helped her come around to a better solution. I gave her my point of view, what I would do in that situation, and we put our two opinions together and came up with a good solution, and that cleared the air. I became a peer mentor because I feel I know how to relate to children who've got problems because I had problems in school, and it's easier to talk to someone my age on a one-to-one -one level rather than a teacher. We've observed that sometimes the most effective peer mentors are not the students who've always had a squeaky clean record in school, but they're those who've had to work through some major challenges and often the support that they can give, the empathy they can show towards other students is extremely valuable. It improves your behaviour because you have to, like the younger students or even students in my year look up to me because I'm a peer mentor so they know they can come to me for support or if there's a problem with another student. Um, and I think because they're looking up to you, you have to, like, do you know what I mean, be a role model. They know that each and every day they are a peer mentor and that each and every day their attendance, their conduct, their achievement and how they perform in lessons counts and it counts towards how they operate as a peer mentor. So I think what it does, it subconsciously ingrains that sort of sense of personal responsibility in a way that no amount of talking adults can do. I was mentored and I thought it was a good experience. I thought I could help those who needed help and teach others. And it's not only um, benefiting them, it's benefiting myself as well. Hornsey School for Girls is a large and average multicultural school in North London. There's 1,475 students. We've got over 60 different languages, first languages spoken by our students here. And we're a genuine comprehensive school, so we have students right across the ability range. Our peer mentoring recruitment drive appeals to a real cross-section of the school community. It's important to have that diversity because the school is that diverse and everybody needs somebody that they can look up to, somebody they can relate to, somebody who has a common experience with them. Do you know anything about the peer mentoring scheme? Has any of you lot had a um, lesson? Yeah, I had artistic lessons with Miss Rook. Yeah. Um, it was doing like things, memory thing, like um, names, thing like this. Have you guys got anything new, um, anything new that happened this week? The job sessions usually feature year sevens and year eights because uh, they're new to the school. Uh, they're the younger ones, so. Um, we, we want to tell them that they're, they've got a shoulder if they need it. And at the same time, um, if they do feel a bit awkward around the school, they can come here and ask us what, what they need and we'll try the best of our abilities to help them. Not only do we help with your problems, like you said, we, we also, not only do we give advice to you, um, we also are here for any activities or any sort of extracurricular stuff that you think should be here. We've set up an initial meeting, which is like an induction, and icebreaker session. And if there are issues that students want to pursue as a result of that induction, then the matching process begins. It's really about opening up communication within the student body and that people that might have never come across each other before in any other setting, either a class or a lunchtime or a club or activity, get the opportunity to meet and talk to each other in a very positive way. I think it's very important to, to often kind of support, just to, to make sure that they're not, they don't feel a sort of isolation in the school. We want them to feel like it's a community and that and that at the same time, we want them to feel as if they're individuals in the community. Um, by coming here, they, they feel as if they're playing an active role in how the school works. 
from project to project, aims and objectives will vary, recruitment processes will vary, end outcomes will vary, and simply to try and develop a, a, a model that will fit everybody's needs and leave everybody happy um, is, is not easily achievable. With having a drop-in system, students can access it freely, there's no stigma, there's no preconception, they're not actually there because they have a need, they're just there because it's something that they feel might benefit them. This is a way of you guys connecting with each other, yeah, communicating. This is where we're opening, you know, stuff. Opening doors that usually we don't usually go for and open. Have you okay. enjoyed today? Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. All right, yeah. All right girls, you see you soon. You come back. I'm a peer mentor and in the school where we help students emotionally as well as academically. And one of the things I do as a peer mentor is surfing. Like when we go around the school making sure school's safe and everyone's happy. And surfing is an activity that peer mentors can sign up for as part of their duty. What it involves is they give up half an hour of their lunchtime on a specific day to basically patrol the school grounds. What are you doing here? Oh, are you okay? You go around the school just to talk to everyone, say hi, how is it everyone doing? Try to break the ice or any apprehension they might have about talking to us. Sometimes the whole lunchtime goes without anyone really being upset or anyone needing help, but then there are a few lunchtimes when there might be a fight on or, you know, one person sitting there left out from the rest of the crew. The reason how they know that we're peer mentors is because we are lanyards with our name on it and a little card saying we're a peer mentor. You know, walk around from here, behind the mass blocks and, you know, because here's usually isolated places where there's not much teachers, so there might be trouble. There may be little girls in school, people, you know, that are getting bullied and stuff. When you surf in your, you could actually see it. And being a, a peer mentor, it's more exposed. Whereas if it's a teacher and someone's bullying someone, they will just stop. The student, because you're a peer mentor, they trust you more naturally. They start talking to you and telling you, oh, my friend's done that. But you just have the right, have the right approach. I enjoy surfing. I find it fun. Just like you can be with your friends and surf at the same time, so it's not stopping you from doing whatever you're doing. Even when you're off duty, and there's a problem, it's still your duty to sort out the problem. It makes them very visible uh, around the school and it just again gives another group of people who are keeping an eye and ear open for any students that might get themselves into difficulty. You said here that you wanted to be a peer mentor because you want to be a role model to students and I noticed that you're assistant head girl as well. Could you sort of tell me how you see them as being a different role model? Well, with um, peer mentoring, you get different types of students and you have to give them different support and, like, you're, you're actually being a role model directly. Until relatively recently, people have always seen the peer mentoring programme as something that will benefit the mentee, the young person that has a peer mentor. More and more projects and organisations are becoming aware of the benefits for the peer mentor. A lot of projects, Hornsey is one of them, go through a formal application process. What this does from the word go is to actually look at employability skills. The main themes that we visit are sort of their personal qualities, what is a peer mentor's role, um, some mediation skills, some communication skills. I've definitely gain people skills from the peer mentoring training practice and um, confidential skills because I've always had a big mouth to everyone but now I'm just like all right I can't say it. and then um, leadership skills. Is there anything um, you feel you might find difficult? Sometimes it's difficult to give the right advice because every person's situation is different. If you cast your mind back to the training what do you think I would say to you in response to that? You question the student themselves and kind of let them reflect back on it. We also get them to be aware of the peer mentors charter, which is basically the, the promise that they make to somebody who may need their support. Give an example of a time when you've benefited from contact with a peer mentor. Have there been other students in school that you've looked to as being a good example to you? Yeah, when people come up to me and said, like, they've got A stars and stuff and they're higher than me, it's like, oh, I want to be like that. And do you think peer mentoring is a way of you getting the better grades? 
Yeah, because it, motiva it motiv motivates you more. So say you get a student that comes in and they're like, oh, I don't want to go to my lesson. You can't exactly tell them, oh, they need to go to the lesson because they need to do the work and you're not going to lessons yourself. So right. it's like you have to set the example before you can give them the advice. It's helped me because I used to always take the back seat and sit down and watch everyone. But now I've, I've got the leadership skills, it helps me just to go out there, not to be aggressive, but to be assertive in your own way and not just listen to what everyone else has to say. It sort of focused me, it brought me out of myself, I think, and um, made, me, made me look into stuff in the school. And so by becoming a peer mentor, I, saw, I started being brave enough to attempt other stuff, to notice other stuff. The personal benefits for the peer mentors are an increased sense of self-confidence, uh, an appreciation of what they're able to achieve, rather than them being somebody who spends the day within the school setting, they're actually an important part of the fabric of the school. And I'm happy to let you know that we're going to put you on a probation period until Christmas and mm. that means that we'll be looking very carefully at how things go and then when we reach that point in time we'll have a look at all your sort of key areas like your attendance, behaviour, your attainment and then um, if things are good we'll just carry on. OK, thanks Rufa. My peer mentor helped me be a positive person, so I'm not being a horrible person and fighting all the time, and I used to pick on people. Now since I've been in peer mentors, they've helped me realise what was right and what was wrong about my actions, and now I go round and I'm a calm person and I don't get in people's business. More and more, people tend to notice a change in the ethos of the school, the way the students walk down the corridor, the way they hold themselves the way they engage in the classroom environment. We were preparing earlier in the year for an Ofsted inspection and so we were asking students the sort of questions Ofsted inspectors would ask and it became clear that uh, the peer mentors were valued among the most sort of highly valued aspects of the school in the minds of the students and that clearly over the last two or three years something very powerful had been communicated to the student body as a whole. Young people who have engaged with a peer mentor in years seven, eight, nine will then actually apply to be peer mentors when their time comes around. This is developing sustainability, but more importantly, it's actually developing the I want to be a peer mentor. This is how I perceive I can help other people. I think people perceive me before as probably that bad girl because I've been there and I've done that and I've changed it. I think they're Lot, loads of kids want to be a peer mentor. I think it's really good. I want to be a peer mentor myself, but how I feel is there's no point in there being peer mentors in year 10 if they're just going to leave the year after. Because if you're building up a relationship and then they leave the school, you're going to be disappointed. So if they bring it down to year 9 or year 8, they can help young years and build up a relationship so they'll have the confidence when they that peer mentor leaves to be one themselves. They are, if you like, the the broadest layer of positive support in school. They are my foot soldiers. They, they are the template for positive behaviour in school. Mm -hmm.